Good afternoon, everybody. What's up? This is Alpha Zero Forum. This is Alpha Zero Forum at your servers, boys and girls, ladies and gentlemen. I am so sorry to like um, have this review late or maybe at 12 o'clock in the afternoon, but this episode for Day Life 2, episode 5, very good and interesting. And even though some of y'all might disagree, I loved it very much. Honestly, like, um, it had a good start right there for this new saga that we're going to take a look at. Hopefully it'll last for a while, though I don't know, but I loved it very much. No fan service or anything, just some funny comedy moments, which is what I need. What I absolutely need. There might be one I'm missing, but I don't know. But this episode was really interesting. I can't wait to talk about it. Last week's episode got me like, okay, good. Good improvement right there. And this one had, a, had another great improvement, even though some of y'all might disagree or agree with me, you know, and I'm okay with that. And let me just get to start with this episode right here. Dude, this episode, yeah, let's go. At the beginning, of course, like, uh, we end up seeing, like, um, Shido doing this and that, you know, taking care, of, taking care of business here and having to give an assignment or something, but later, like, um, we get to see something like, um, a new spirit, you know? Yeah, and, yeah, I don't remember much about the beginning because, like, I'm so focused on, like, want to talk about some major important points, you know, and, and so forth. Like, dang, this episode, like, I can't, I cannot express how much, how, how happy I am to see how much game and improvement, even though we saw a little preview and stuff, that's okay. And, of course, like, um, when Shido was walking with, like, um, Yoshino or something, he had to apologize to her, but... Yoshino says, well, Toko was hungry, you know, and she couldn't go. I thought she was just, like, imagining herself, like, um, with Shido kissing him, you know. That's what I thought in the preview. That's what I saw in the preview. That's what I thought. Correct me if I'm wrong, but I'm sorry to think like that, you know. But, yeah. Later, there's a space, space, spatial earthquake happening again, you know, causing a major ruckus and chaos. And Shido ends up being transferred to Rakustar to go check it out and then to visit another spirit. And it's a spirit. She's all blue. She's all pretty, beautiful. Damn, she looks beautiful to me, man. Beautiful to me. Pretty, the voice is there. Oh my gosh, I could fall in love with her already, you know. But but after seeing, like, she don't want to talk to her, like, he made a noise by accident, and Katori goes like, You idiot, what were you doing, you know? And then he ends up approaching to the singing spirit, and by the time she looks at him, she's, like, in shock and horror, like, hella mad or something, you know, and Katori says, oh no, her um, mood level, everything about it is like dropping down to its lowest peak, like lowest, lowest peak, like to the negative zone, y'all can say. I call it the negative zone. And she blasted him with the loud sonic wave, I call it, like voice, vo voice overall, like um, something like that, you know. I'm like, what the hell? Is that crazy? Is that girl crazy or something? And Shido nearly died, but he's actually he grabbed onto something. She even tells him, hey, why didn't you die yet? Blah, blah, blah. Ends up angry at her. But when she looked, at, looked up in the sky, attack being, being attacked by the AST, she said, oh, now that's the audience I need, you know? And then ends up having fun with them. But it looks like she was just toying with them, you know? And then ends up using another sonic blaster wave. Like, I don't know, like, um, yeah, it started out with a big old blast and... She disappeared, and pretty much Shido ends up knowing about who she is. It's Miku Izayo, Izayo, Izayo Miku, and Katori says, "Oh, I know her, man. It's not good." And they all tell Shido she has a great dislike for men. Like she's a sexist towards the males. And I go like, "Oh man, sexist towards the males, but loves the girls like romantically or something like that. You know, that kind of thing." I'm like. What the heck are you doing, man? What the heck is going on here, you know? Crazy stuff is going on here and there, and... Yeah, I'm like, heck of a surprise that she has a great dislike, great taste, great dislike for men, for males, you know? And we're gonna find that out soon later, you know? But as the episode progresses, Katori says, I have an idea for you, Shido. And then he gets grabbed by two of her men, and, he, and, he go, and she goes like, Good luck, big sister! And I go like, oh boy, here it comes, and then... He ends up dressing as a girl and then ends up changing his voice using a band-aid thing and he has like, I don't know, are they real? Like, are they real? I'm just wondering, you know, I'm like, oh my gosh. And when he comes out and ends up speaking, I go like, 
huh, it's pretty cool right there, you know? I go, but the way I look at it, he doesn't look like a girl, but a freaking, uh, freaking transgender, you know? It's hecka, like, I would, when the moment I look at her and she, he, she spoke, I'm like thinking, oh my gosh, oh my gosh. And then the trio ends up saying like, what, she don't like, she don't eat, Shido Isuka like ditched us or something and she called she she well she calls herself Shidori before she revealed her full her, her real name. It is Shido, but I'm just pointing at he, her, her, you know, she. It, it, it's really funny, you know, I mean and then Toga almost blew his cover and says, Hey Shido, why are you <laughs> And then he goes she she Shidori goes like hey don't say it! You're gonna blow my cover! And Origami ends up taking pictures of her and then like I don't know if she actually knows if she if Shido is actually the girl which is to my question right now like does she know that Shido is a girl or she know Shidori is a is Shido you know and then taking pictures underneath and then she goes like yeah. I'm like thinking oh man talk about some sucky thing you know and then she do and Shidori ends up talking to Miku calmly and she's so steady, you know. Miku's mental parameter, everything else is steady. Like she talks to Shidori talks to her normally and so forth. Especially this funny part about how about you give me your panties for thirty thousand yen, you know? And she goes like, huh? Okay, but I can trade my panties for yours, you know? And then she goes like, eh, no 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 what? And then Miku says, Oh, I'm just playing around, you know, and so I'm just playing around with you, you know. That's all. And Shido Shidori says, Oh, I was just playing around with you too, you know, nothing more. And Later, he gets invited to her tea party thing, and she went to go to her house, and then these girls end up saying, what the hell are you doing here, you know, like, he's like, like, she's some kind of stranger, and by that time, like, she, she talk, Shidori talks to Miku, asking her what's up, and they did talk for a long, long time, and later, like, um, Miku says she, lo she loves him, she loves Shidori, she loves her, well, that her is Shidori, you know, and yeah, it's pretty cool. And later, um, she tells him, why don't you switch to the All Girls Academy with me? Don't worry, I'll take care of everything, you know? It doesn't matter about poor academic quality or anything else, you know? And she ends up using her voice on him, going like, going like, please, 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 you know? And then Shidori, well, that Shido, says, no way, not going to happen. I'm sorry, but it's not going to happen, you know? And she says, hmm, I seem to love you now, you know? And she, Shidori says, I have the power to seal, the, seal up spirits' powers. I already sealed up five already, you know. I can help you. Let me help you out. But Miku shows her darker personality, though I don't know. And she says, I started that space quake on purpose, you know. Because um, I wanted to sing and then other things. And then Shidori says, excuse me, but wouldn't your friends die or something? She says, but all the girls love me. And this really pu pushed Shido or Shidori at her... At her angry point and Katori says yo calm down calm down don't push it and then <coughs> Shidori says you know what I'm not gonna accept you you know that all the girls anyone would love you but I'm not gonna love you because what you're doing your pride your arrogance your thingy your singing abilities it's it's all crap it's like he's saying you know with the special expression the way he says it and Miku says oh now I'm really starting to love you so how about you and I play a little game then each, and, sh and it's like a game, like a game, and later it's like, here's how it is. If you could beat me in a contest or something, I will, as you can see, this high school you're going to is going to compete against mine, you know. If you could beat me in a contest, then I'll allow you to steal my powers, you know. And I go like, oh man, and then she always says, hey, but you have an advantage right now, you know. And she says, really? It's like, the way she says it, she says, really? Huh, that's kind of strange that I do. And I go like, what do you think, you freaking unpleasant girl, you know? And later it ends right there. There is some information I want to mention, like I meant past it. Like, ASC has been given, given the AST captain has been given a task to like, to like capture someone, the princess with Toka and Shido, you know? And honestly, it's kind of strange for it to happen like that. And 
yeah, she tells him, don't mention origami about this because or and the cat didn't mind connected about origami and Shido being like friends or boyfriend and girlfriend. And yeah. So Anne's wear like and Shidori was given a contest, like if she wins or Shido wins, he will steal her powers. And by that time, yeah, I go like, whoa, now this is gonna get interesting. Honestly, overall, I love this episode. Some of y'all might dislike it or did not like it at all because there might be some things missing. But to me, it made good progression and it made some, some things that really surprised me and I love about very much, you know. It had an improvement, more improvement, you know, no fan service. Maybe some funny scenes that are not worth it, but still some funny scenes. I still loved it. This episode, I believe this saga is going to be really, really interesting. I'm actually looking forward to it, you know. I mean... We're halfway done with like um, the episodes. I mean, half a half a ten. I'm looking forward that it makes a major improvement because a lot because the last three episodes were like was like maybe some of y'all hate it and I didn't like it and I agree to that you know just a little bit you know and by that time yeah again like a contest with the spirit who's gonna win like who is gonna win what you guys' thoughts you know I mean what's the contest gonna be like a singing contest what kind of contest like. Yeah, I'm actually excited for the next episode, you know. I hope you are too. I mean, major improvement, no fan service, that's great. Some funny moments, like, it should, it's like that. It should be like that for the rest of the episode. Then maybe I might give an average rating or depending, you know. I love this episode very much. I hope you did too. And I hope you enjoyed this review as much as I talked about it, you know. And Isayo and Miku, man, a male hater, like, a sexist towards the males. Like, how worse can it get? Like, literally. How worse can it get, you know? I am Alpha Zero Forum. Hope you all have a great day and, and you enjoyed this review. Have a great day. Later, cutting out.